Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing about PubMed search and how does it works. It will be the first video of two video series related to PubMed. First being the basic and the second will be about the advanced search. PubMed is the most common used search tool for medical literature. It's online since 1996. It was developed and maintained by National Center for Biotechnology Information. It contains more than 32 million citation and abstracts although it doesn't include full text journal articles but links to all are available medline is the largest component of pubmed it's the bibliographic database that contains more than 27 million references it contains literature published from 1996 to present for details prior to 1996 old medline data can also be used currently more than 5200 worldwide journal in 40 different languages are cited in medline pubmed central articles make the second largest component of pubmed it contains full text articles since its inception in 2000 it has grown immensely from only two journals in the beginning to currently archiving articles from thousands of journal Currently it contains more than 6 million full text records. The final component of PubMed is bookshelf which is for citation for books and some individual chapters. Now let's move to the basic of PubMed search. How does it works and who can get the best out of it? We can always learn more about PubMed in the site only. As we scroll down we get to know more about PubMed under these headings let's learn about basic with an example on searching for diabetic retinopathy we can see more than 38000 results these results can further be into abstract full text free full text based on text availability or it can also be divided into books and document clinical trials meta analysis and much more based on the article type further applying filters we can reduce the number of articles moreover there is an option of additional filters which help us to segregate the article based on type species whether it is human related or animal related different languages for better search in different parts of the world and much more pubmed central as discussed before gives us access to many full text articles The journal list in the search helps us to further narrow down the search for the journal of interest. At the end, let's see how bookshelf component helps in literature. As previously discussed, it gives access to books and few chapters. More, it also helps to provide citations for the same. That's all in this video on basics of PubMed. We will discuss various search technique in the second video thank you for the patient listening hello and welcome back to the second video of medical literature search in this video we will be discussing about advanced techniques of literature search and different search tools before we move to search option let's learn about the important concept of boolean operators these are simple words which help to combine and exclude keywords and or not these three simple words can be used in different combination to narrow down the search options let's understand the concept of boolean operators with an example of pubmed search first we have to open the advanced search option in the pubmed search page here keywords can be entered in enter the search term column at the right side of the page different boolean operators can be seen let's take an example of intravitreal antibiotics and endophthalmitis if we apply and operator then total of 1409 results can be seen comprising of both the keywords if we apply or operator then 
276 results can be formed comprising either of the keywords. While if we apply NOT operator, then 451 results can be found in which intravitreal antibiotics are used but not in case of endophthalmitis. First and foremost step of any good medical literature search is to find the keywords. Let's learn with example. Here we can see that there are four similar looking questions but with different keywords. Combining these keywords with different boolean operator will give us a much focused result. If we use prophylactic antibiotic and open globe injury and endophthalmitis then there are 17 results. Changing the keyword to intravitreal antibiotics gives us a bigger result of 34. But when we change prophylactic intravitreal antibiotic as keyword then the results have lessened to 9 in number. Similarly, just adding traumatic term further decrease the number of results to 8. With the help of keywords and boolean operators, a much focused and precise results can be formed. Similar to PubMed, Cochrane is the leading source exclusively for systemic reviews. It is published by Wiley. Different specialities of medicine can be searched in alphabetical order. Similar to PubMed search, the boolean operators can also be used to narrow down the search options. Scopus is the largest abstract and citation database of peer-received literature, scientific journals, books and conference proceedings. There are few other sources for literature search. Just searching in Google search engine will give us many search options. Usually, there is a combination of indexed and non-indexed articles. Moreover, whenever we open an article in PubMed, below the article, as such there are similar articles, similar to the article which was searched. Last but not the least, every article at the end will have references. As such articles are all related to the topic proper. This easily gives us access to the relevant articles. Krupski et al. in their article titled How to Perform a Literature Search have beautifully shown how to search article in this flowchart form. That's all this time. Thank you for the patient listening.